Hi, welcome to North London Allotment. I don't know what you're all thinking. What's in the big blue bag? So the first of this year's actually planted, not volunteer potatoes, is up. There it is. And I'm actually going to cover it over because if we get a frost, that foliage may die off. Now I've got loads of wood chips here. So all I'm going to do, just give it a bit of protection. There we go. And that should be fine until it pops through next time, of course. Just watering my carrots, trying to keep them moist because carrot seeds do not like to dry out. So every day I've come up and put a bit of water on them. Nothing yet. But you know, we're always really impatient to see seeds, aren't we? Nothing over there either. Never mind, everything in its time. Right, that is everything watered, including the cold frame, which is looking very full and very luscious. So now I can show you what's in here. Um, a 100 litre water butt set from Aldi. Best prices on garden stuff. Absolutely unbeatable. I've been looking at buying a water butt for months, especially with all the rain we've had and my prediction we're going to have a drought. Just too expensive. Obviously, I really wanted a 200 one, but I saw this one on the special buys on Aldi and 18 99 Made it up to 20 with a bit of sun lotion, which is going to be needed and got free postage you cannot beat that and this it's just a standard water but it's it's a much better price than you can get anywhere else so thank you oldie very special buy okay now these are the bits that come with it so we need to put it together so this bit must be the stand this it makes it quite high actually they clip together. Let's have a look. Yeah, see the clippy bit? I make kind of a flower shape. There we go. So all four, just going to clip in and that's the depression for the water butt to sit in. The instructions for that. There we go, that is the base fitted together, ready for the water butt to sit in. And this is where I'm going to put it. Obviously, I need some level ground. This is my downpipe, and that's where it'll stand ish. Okay, now we've got to work out all this bit. Now, this says water butt filler kit instructions, so it's got 
the bit for the top to bring the water in and the cap for the bottom. Let's have a look. Instructions are always quite brief. It says drill a hole. I don't have a drill. So that could be interesting. Drill a 2.7 centimetre hole. Why can't they just put the hole in? Well, that's the easy way. That goes in down here. I'm presuming they drilled a hole for that bit. Easy bit done. Who's connected? They've actually got no instructions for putting the little bits in. So now I'm wondering if this is meant to go on there. God, do you remember when I put up the grow house last year? Same problem, the instructions were awful. At least IKEA ones you can follow. Right. Still, there is nothing to tell you what to do with this. Right, let's have a look at this. Divert a lid. Yes, no, that's a divert. Divert a lid. Okay, so that goes on your downpipe. Hose connects here, presumably. This is so any overflowing water can come out, I think. Is this for drilling the hole? What's this for? It's not in the instructions at all. Okay. Hose connector I see why they haven't done the hole for them because you can have it either side so you can choose which side to have it how are you meant to drill a hole 
2.7 centimeters without a drill? I do not know. And what I meant to do with this, it's not that, I have no idea. I am entirely guessing all this. What I'm wondering at the moment is if it says drill a hole, which is through just this quite thin plastic, why is this bit that has got to fit in there got a screw on it? Is it just, it must just be for the bolt, but where does the washer go? Seriously, I'm not going crazy. These do not make a lot of sense. Let's get it up. Let's have a look at it. Okay, since I don't have a drill at all, um, and my downpipe is quite shoddy, also, there's not enough distance between this and this. It needs gravity to help it down. I'm going to plop this just under here for now. Um, I know it's not ideal because you don't want your top open. I might see if I can cover it with some plastic or something. I think I need to get a drill. I need lockdown twins so my dad can come up with his. Because <laughs> I always get him to come and do drilling for me. So, let's see if at least we can get it under the downpipe. This is so make, do and mend. So I've cut out some of the plastic that it came in. Found some string. There's a hole in there. And I'm going to tie it around. And then I'm gonna put some chicken wire or something in the stop to stop um in the top to stop um leaves and debris going down. It's the best I can do at the moment. The string won't hold. I can't find anything to block the top, so it's gonna have to stay as it is. Not perfect, but something. I thought because I was already getting bad tempered at putting things up with bad instructions, I would put that grow house up that I've had for years that my brother bought me and I've never used. Problem is, I looked inside. Oh my God, and that something's just fallen over in the shed and that's freaked me out even more. Okay, there's a wasp's nest growing in there and a big queen wasp came out and I can't do wasps. And there's no one who can come and help me because we're not allowed within two meters of each other. And it's flying around looking annoyed.
so the main structure is up. Now, if you remember last year, the problem is caused when it is windy, which it will be again, the poles get loose in the wind and they fall out and everything twists and it all ends up in a big pile. So your solution is string. I'm going to tie string between these struts to keep them tight and that way even if the poles come out the shape should stay the same and if there is a disaster it won't be as bad. Problem is as well because I'm using this natural cotton string, it will wear the stuff I used last year, which is what I had, believe it or not, from an old craft box from my old classroom. That's quite kind of sticky. So it did stay up for the whole season. Just want to get this right. If I get it right, and I don't need to do it again. Now I just need to get the cover on and get it in position. Go, it's up. Um, looking a bit wobbly, but I'll see if it uh, stays up before I put anything in it. Bag of sharp sand at the bottom. Spider web activated. Let's see how she does and if she's still standing next time I come up. When I was cutting down my current bushes, I took off some branches that had buds on and I put them somewhere meaning to put them in the ground and lost them and then I found this one I mean a week two weeks later just lying on the ground so I thought I'll stick it in a random patch of earth and see how it does and look at it now well look at it if it focuses let's try that there we go look it's got leaves might have a new current bush. I've stopped for a cup of tea now and since I'm only going to be doing weeding, which is not a great deal of fun to watch, I will say see you next time. But I will advise you, the bindweed and the mare's tail is out, so get on it now. Don't leave it until it's huge and taking over. Okay, so see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>